Hi, Chris with RC Worst here, and today we're going to take a look at the Barmesa 2A HS series pumps. This pump has been designed with dewatering, sump, effluent, and utility applications in mind. It's intended for residential and light commercial applications. Barmesa also boasts that this pump offers tons of utility in some of the less common applications. One of which that excites me in particular is that this pump features 24-7 run capability, meaning that it is a continuous duty rated pump. Uh, interestingly enough, a continuous duty rated pump is oftentimes an indication of a, uh, a higher level of insulation on the motor itself, which can indicate that the pump and or motor is going to last just a little bit longer because the, the insulation quality is a little bit higher. It's becoming quite difficult to find a pump company these days that uh, endorses continuous duty pond pumps. And this particular pump by Barmesa is recommended to be used in pond and fountain applications as well as a variety of other applications from effluents to sumps to dewaterings and so forth. The pump comes standard with a two inch NPT discharge and it is rated to handle solids up to a half of an inch. Uh, though solids are not necessarily the intention with this pump, it is well equipped to handle those occasional solids and, and features an, a semi-open eight vein vortex recessed thermoplastic impeller. Now thermoplastic is a great impeller choice in this case because thermoplastic holds up very well to the caustic nature of a lot of the applications that this pump was designed for. Additionally, uh, a thermoplastic impeller is going to be ideal due to the fact that it's a lightweight impeller, so it requires a little bit less energy to get it rotating. The impeller material on this pump, interestingly enough, is DuPont Hytrel. Now this material was uh, somewhat unfamiliar to us here at RC Worst, so we, dig, we dug a little bit deeper into what exactly that is, and what we found was pretty interesting. The material is used to produce a prosthetic foot also called the Niagara foot. Uh, this Niagara foot has been designed to be a low cost solution for landmine victims in third world countries who lead active lifestyles and most often are featured in rugged landscapes. Interestingly enough, during stress testing, the foot had undergone over two million cycles of stress testing and uh, it, it held up. That lends itself to the fact that this material makes for a great impeller material. To learn more or to donate to the Niagara Foot cause, we're going to have the link right here as well as uh, in the description below. On this particular pump, the motor housing is composed of an aluminum alloy, which is an ADC12 material. This alloy has up to 12% silicon content and the silicon helps to fight corrosion. The aluminum compound has roughly twice the thermal conductivity of a cast iron material, meaning that the heat generated inside the motor, which is an air-cooled motor, is going to be allowed to easily dissipate out and away from the motor, keeping it cool and running longer. This pump features a class FC200 cast iron uh, casing and uh, an oil-filled chamber for the seals because it is a dual seal pump. Now by selecting cast iron for the volute material and the spacing here, what Barmesa has done is take advantage of the material's inherent qualities. Cast iron is far more durable than the aluminum motor housing and has superior vibration reduction. Because of the relatively high silicon content, cast iron naturally has an inherent ability to resist subscale and oxidation such as rust and corrosion. For additional protection, Barmesa applied a water-based air dry enamel paint which provides robust protection for the harshest of environments. A built-in PVC strainer on the bottom of the pump helps to keep out solids. Additionally, the strainer is made of a somewhat flexible PVC material so it's going to be able to take a, the occasional bump here and there. This pump includes an agitator to help prevent sediment buildup around the pump. This pump also includes a lightweight nylon carrying handle which features stainless steel hardware for maximum corrosion resistance. These pumps feature a dual seal design which adds an extra layer of protection to the application. The upper mechanical seal is a carbon ceramic and the lower seal is a much harder silicon carbide seal. 
both of which lay within a lubricating oil bath in this middle section of the pump here. The motor on this pump features single row, permanently oil lubricated ball bearing construction. With regard to the motor life on this pump, the bearings are rated for a duty life around 60,000 hours under normal loads. Amazingly, this pump can operate in liquids up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit and if the pump were to overheat, the automatic thermal overload protection will bring the pump offline until the motor has sufficiently cooled. The Barmesa 2AHS series boasts either a one half or one horsepower motor, but is only offered in a standard 120 volt single phase configuration and is rated at six or 12 full load amps respectively. The model number for the half or one horsepower configuration is signified by either a 051 or 101 after the 2AHS. At the standard 3500 RPM, the half horsepower model can produce 40 feet of head and a maximum flow rate of 59 gallons per minute. The one horsepower model can produce 61 feet of head and a maximum flow rate of 98 gallons per minute. This pump comes standard with a 15 foot SJTW type cord and the SJTW means that this cord is rated for service in especially hard conditions such as outdoors and it also includes a tough thermoplastic coating on the cord which is going to be also weather resistant. Bar Mesa offers cord lengths up to 50 foot on this pump, however 15 foot is the standard. This particular pump comes in manual or automatic configurations with the automatic version signified by an A at the end of the part number and it includes a wide angle float switch. The manual version comes with no switch. This particular pump is a hard working pump that will last for many years if sized correctly. If you need assistance sizing a pump, please check out the other videos on our channel or feel free to reach out to our customer service department where we're standing by to receive your emails or phone calls. To learn more about this particular pump or review the specifications or installation guide, be sure to check out our website, rcworst.com. If you have any questions on what we covered today, leave those in the comments below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more great content like this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.